this video, we're going to create a formula in Google Sheets that gets the first, second, and third highest values in a data set of values based on a criteria. So in this example here, we have a list of four different user IDs and you can see each user ID is listed multiple times. They have a column for corresponding test scores. They're allowed to take a test multiple times and what we want to do over here in this area is pull back the first, second, and third highest scores for each of these individual users. So we're going to eventually use the large function in our formula. What I want to do real quick is just run through how this works by itself. It's actually very simple. It has two inputs. We have the data, which is going to be column C, our test scores, and then we have the rank that we want to pull back. So if we want to pull back the highest test score, we simply input a 1 there. It pulls back the highest score in this range of values, and that is 97. If we wanted to pull back the second highest score, we would just input a value of 2 there. But what we want to do is do this for the first, second, and third highest scores by user ID. So we have a criteria. So we're going to insert the large function, but in this first argument, what we're going to use is an if statement. And the thing about the if statement or function is that it can only handle a single cell at a time. So we're dealing with an array here of values. So to convert this output to an array and not cause an error, we need to nest the if statement inside the array formula. It simply just converts the output to an array output. So we have our if statement. The first input is our logical expression or test. Well, what do we want to test? We want to see if the values in column B are equal to our first user ID in this cell. So you can put a dollar sign in front of this or, or hit F4 three times. What that will do is lock that column so that when we drag this formula across to these other columns, it's always going to point to this column. You can see the column reference is fixed, but the row is relative. So when we drag this formula down, it moves with our drag to these other user IDs. So we want to see if the values in column B are equal to user 1. If they are, we want to pull back all of the scores in column C that correspond to that user. So that is the end of our IF formula. So I'm going to end that with the closing parentheses and we're also ending our array formula. So that's another closing parentheses. We're back into our large function, and the only other thing we need here is the rank that we want to pull back, which is going to be the value in this header here. So I'm going to hit F4 two times. This time, we are keeping the column relative, but the row fixed. So when we drag this formula down, it always points to this row header. But when we drag it across, it moves to the different column headers with our drag to pull the second and third ranks. So I'll hit enter. This pulls back a value of 90 for user 1. So if we go over here and look at user 1, we have 74, 79, 74 again, 90, and 88 so 90 is indeed the highest score for user 1 so I drag this across you can see that was the second highest score and third so now I can just simply drag this down and we get the three highest scores for each 
of our different users. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.